Is there more variability in the scores of Terry's friends or Luke's friends on the last math test? Hint, use the interquartile range to determine your answer. Now, interquartile range, think of it as us taking a data set and breaking it into four equal pieces. Those are the different quartiles. So, first thing that we need to do is we need to take these numbers and put them in order. Let's start with Terry's friends. The lowest value I see is 75, then another 75, 76, 78, 79, 84, 88, and 89. So the interquartile range here, it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 data points. So when we take those 8 data points and break them into different quartiles, each quartile will have 2 data points. So, in between the second and third number is our first quartile, which will have a value of 75.5. And in between the sixth and seventh, between 84 and 88, will be the other, which is 86. And when we subtract, that's how you find the interquartile range, the third quartile minus the first quartile, we get a total of 10.5. That's the variability in Terry's friends. Now when we do the same exact calculation for Luke's friend, we find out that the first quartile is 73, and the third quartile is halfway between 78 and 85, which would be 81.5. And when we subtract these numbers, we get a difference of 8.5. So we can see here that Terry's friends have greater variability in their data than do Luke's friends when using the IQR or the interquartile range as our measure of variability.